I'm Dr. Justin Zekovitz from the Uni University of Alberta and the Mazinkowski Alberta Heart Institute. This is a patient of mine, Victor Timmons. Today we're talking about cardiac resynchronization therapy. Cardiac resynchronization therapy is a fancy way of saying a, a very uh, advanced type of pacemaker. This is the type of pacemaker that this is. It usually sits underneath the collarbone or just underneath the clavicle and it gets implanted under the skin. Wires come out of this and they get go through a special uh, set of veins we have there to the right hand side of the heart come all the way down to the right hand side of the heart. And in this case, unlike a usual pacemaker, a, a special lead or wire comes to the left hand side of the heart and also one to the upper chambers of the heart. This special type of pacemaker, what it does is it makes sure the right and left hand side of the pace of the heart are paced at the same time. So rather than pacing first then second, they pace at the same time and resynchronizes the heart. And could you tell us what your recent discovery was? Sure. So we took 25 trials, approximately 9,000 patients, and we looked at do patients with less symptomatic heart failure have the same benefit as those patients with more symptomatic heart failure? And our findings were that, in fact, they do. And they have it in a very specific way. They have the same reduction in the risk for death, which is very important, and the risk for uh, rehospitalization or hospitalization for heart failure. They don't get the same benefits for quality of life or walking distance on a six-minute walk test, but the hospitalization and mortality benefits far outweigh that, uh, that, that gain. And what's next with your research? So the next formal parts of this research area have to be a formal cost-effectiveness analysis to see really is this a good cost-effective treatment for patients with less symptomatic heart failure and on top of the best medical therapy and with all the other things that go along with heart failure. Uh, and the second part is to figure out which patients within the clinical trials and these other areas get the best benefit because not all patients have a good benefit from this uh, invasive pacemaker, but we have to understand which patients should be really going for this and which patients perhaps won't get the same type of benefit. Thank you.